Hey buddy, Thomas here, and we actually uh, had a customer the other week drop off some poplar logs, and then his friend is actually the guy who does the cutting, and he's got this dump trailer. He's dropped me off some poplar logs right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a trade. I'm cutting two poplar logs for these two poplar logs, so pretty sweet deal. And today is the 26th of October, so we just got back from Tennessee last night at 10 o'clock. But uh, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> There's some big old popper logs. And as you can see, the color in there, that's, uh, I'm hoping it'll have some pretty good rainbow. It's uh, got some green, some purples, some blues, and stuff like that. So I think it'd be pretty cool. So he's going to pull this thing forward, and these logs are going to drop out. Come here, Lucy. Boom, boom. Pretty awesome. These are over 11 foot long. Yep, you're good right there. So I can't wait to cut into these. This will be a beautiful log. It's gonna have a lot of character with all these knots and everything on there, but just the color. I mean, you can see that blue color in there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a few things in together on this video and we'll see uh, how it turns out. Stay tuned. Hey buddy, Thomas here again. So <laughs> I just actually had, as soon as I rolled into the fence, I had a gentleman drop off some poplar logs, which are those two behemoths right there, and hopefully I played that video before this. But today is the 26th again of October. We just got back from Tennessee last night. The Sawmill Show was an absolute blast. I had a fantastic time meeting all the folks there. Learned a lot of stuff, had a lot of great conversations. Hopefully gave people uh, the experience that they were looking for, and we got to talk uh, wood, got to show how the planer works, how the two sawmills work, the 2000 and the 1400 sawmill. We also did a little demonstration of making a chartreuse board or cutting board, we're going to call it, at a black walnut. I think I made two of those uh, while I was there. And then made some uh, little, uh, almost like spatula scraper things. So that was pretty cool. Um, one of the things, I got to thank Dan, who drove all the way from Florida up to Tennessee to come up there. He actually showed me. If you have a 2000 mil, and if you see this as being a silver disc right here, you can actually take this nut off, flip this disc over, and you actually have numbers, so you can see kind of where you actually are in your speed. I thought that was pretty cool. I had no idea that that was in fact a thing. <laughs> so, you know, learning stuff all the time about this sawmill. The sawmill cut great while up there. Uh, we actually only went through about two blades. Uh, I cut, let's see, for my dad, I think I cut five or six pine logs. I think it was like 50 something two by fours that I cut for uh, one of his friends. And then we also cut up some cherry, some black walnut, some box elder, and we cut some poplar on the other mill. So really good time. And the mill actually uh, traveled great up there, ran great, really happy. I was hoping to get a little more sawdust off on the way back. On the way up there, it was nice and dry. A lot of sawdust came off on the way back. Uh, it was a little bit wet, so things stuck to it. So I got a little bit clean to do, but not too bad. Also, we have my son's foiler on top of here. Uh, I actually find it, it, it toes just fine up here, no problem. I just had to add, of course, some uh, straps and some wood on top. So, also in the bed of the truck, just, just kind of show you a few things. We, <laughs> This is the black walnut mantle that I screwed up a few videos back. This is actually the one that I cut too short. Well, it turns out... Uh, we had a customer down here in Mississippi who was looking for a black walnut mantle, and the dimensions worked out. So this mantle does, in fact, still have a home. I was going to cut it down into something else, but it's going to go to a, a great home, so I'm happy about that. If you see this wood right here, if you're at the show, you know exactly what this is. This is box elder. We actually got to cut some box elder uh, as kind of like the last piece of wood they were cutting there, and we gave away a couple slabs of this to folks there. I brought this slab back, I gave the rest to my dad, so he can actually work with it. But this slab here is gonna be a perfect one for epoxy project. You've got some great uh, inclusions and stuff like that uh, that we're gonna be able to fill with some epoxy. The good thing is this actually dries pretty quickly and I am looking forward to working this and doing some epoxy. Also, while we're up there, and we got to see one of my friends who's bought some wood from me before, he made a Singer sewing machine uh, with a wood top. He actually used a piece of that spalted ash that I cut probably about four four months ago or something like that. Beautiful spalted ash. He did a top um, 
just like this Singer sewing machine with the uh, the pedal base or anything, but a beautiful piece on top. I'll see if I can throw in a picture in the description so you can see what that looks like. But we liked it so much, I went ahead and we found one that was on Facebook Marketplace. I'll bring this back. This is going to be the computer table for my son. Uh, he likes to bounce his feet around and stuff like that. And this actually might help him to concentrate a little bit more by having something down there to keep him kind of busy and uh, go from there. So, yeah, really excited about that. Also, uh, underneath here, you can't really see it. I have two pieces of, or two slabs of uh, black walnut uh, that I'm going to be making some cutting boards and stuff out of. One of which uh, we cut there, so I'm going to have to let that one dry for a while, but one of which I've also had cut uh, months and months ago. Also, hopefully I'll throw into the same video, uh, we have a tail of a raccoon right here. Uh, because our other dogs up in Tennessee uh, went off and somehow got a raccoon. Well, long story short, little Annie here. In fact, let's see if she'll do it. What's that, Annie? Well, she's gonna. Nope, she's gonna just play now. Anyways, <laughs> up in Tennessee, this little coon hound here uh, experienced her first raccoon, and see, she's already smelling it and wanting to get onto it, but. Uh, she would sound off so hopefully i'll add that video there i thought it was pretty cool look at that that's actually almost perfect as if she was going to tree something but um yeah so we'll see maybe little annie what's this annie what is this annie what is this <laughs> anyways I'll add, I'll add the video with this because this is pretty cool <laughs> but um yeah, fantastic trip, and I do appreciate everyone who made it out there. Y'all are actually, the reason why I do this channel is I love to talk to people about wood, and I like to talk to you about sawmills, tractors, outdoor stuff, anything like that. It's It was really a, a true honor to meet some of y'all. It was really cool, because I asked a lot of people, so, so how did you hear about the show? You know, some people said they heard about the show through uh, the Facebook group. Some people said they heard about the show through Timber King, but it was really, it really, it was pretty cool when people said, we heard about the show through your YouTube channel. So that was really cool. And I'm hoping that we can do this as maybe a, an annual type thing. I would love to do a more show, more shows like that up in Tennessee, because we have a fantastic location for that up on top of the hill, beautiful location. The fall colors of all the uh, leaves were perfect. So that was awesome. Also, not official yet. We're trying to figure out, um, but I would like to do a show down here in Loosedale, Mississippi. I have some other folks in the area with Timber King Sawmills. We have a nice large area we can set up here, and I should have my shop done by then. Hopefully, we'll see. But uh, if I can do another show here with some folks, that would be awesome because we could have my 2000 mil here, my buddy's gas 2000 mil, my buddy's 1600 diesel mill, and I've got a buddy looking to buy a 1220 mil. So. That would be one heck of a show to show all that. Plus, we've got a 725 planer and some other stuff here. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a time lapse that shows me putting everything back into the barn or the sawmill shed. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, cleanup to do. And I've got that trailer. I think I may have talked about this in the past. I've got to get that job done. i got to redeck that trailer and some oak. I have all the oak logs I need. I need to get work on that. So, stay tuned. Again, pleasure meeting everyone up there phenomenal we had people from all over about 50 folks and i hope it was worth it to y'all we gave away uh wood slabs we gave away spoons we gave away little spatula things cutting boards showed people how to make stuff i hope it was exciting i absolutely had a blast my parents had a blast uh, we had good food and great conversation so thank you everybody and we'll see you around hey everybody thomas here and annie just experienced her first raccoon now one of the other dogs i think got this but we'll show you <laughs> the coon hound has a coon she's got quite a bark on her so, <laughs> four month old already knows the smell of a raccoon so we'll see maybe Annie will be a coon hound
Okay, so the mill is now leveled out. I'm happy with the location. It left me, I'm actually a little bit further back than I normally am. I don't suppose it'll be an issue. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna, my head will be a little more protected. So that'll be fine. But uh, I should have, I guess, looked at this right here. Typically, I like to have that about a foot and a half further this direction, but it's okay. I think it'll be fine just where it is. In fact, it's a little more covered and keeps my tongue underneath there. I don't often cut a whole lot of the 20 plus feet of uh, lumber, but what this does allow me to do is actually gives me a little more walking room around here, and I really need to work on this. I'm not supposed to be storing my stuff back here. This is, again, stuff that I've kind of cut and just have not organized as of yet, but I'll get to that. But yeah, mill is in there. Now I just need to go through and I've taken off the uh, the one piece right here. I got to do the other one here. But yeah, now it's it's pretty simple. But uh, I got the tractor in there and cleared out some stuff and I had to use the hoe and get out a few more things. But I think it's going to be good right there. Fully covered and uh, ready to start cutting. So. Not much happened in this video, but I, and I apologize, it's been 12 days since I've actually posted a video, so yeah, I need to get on that. So hopefully, somewhere in this video I'll put in Annie on the Coon, so you'll hear that. And then, uh, what else do we have? I've got to cut the oak up. Like I said, i got to touch the sycamore. This right here is a poplar log, i got to get that cut too. It's pretty gnarly, but I think on the inside we're going to have some pretty good looking stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you around. Thanks.